The next thing is going to be for me to walk you through quickly uh, on the portal. I believe that you have already been sent a video about how to navigate on the portal, but let me see if we can quickly run through that. Okay. So when you go on the website, you sign in with your email address and password and you come to your courses, then you're gonna see all the courses that you enrolled in here. There's a demo account, so that's why you're seeing a lot of courses here. But on the website, now you can visit the website on your mobile application, on the mobile phone, your iPad or whatever the heck, PC. You can see view or read, so you're gonna click on the view or read could see courses content most of the courses the very first video session one documents under the very first video so this is advanced taxation and this is basic tax principles document okay if i go to another program let's say strategic case study the very first video you could see there are some documents there so now you have to be careful because each of the doc, each of the, sometimes there are more than one items here to download. Okay. Now this is not accessible in the mobile application, but it's accessible on the website. So you can see this is a different document. You can see this is a different document here. Okay. Then you can see um, key models and business plan. This is also another document here. So for most of the courses, there are ebooks available under the first video that you can download. But in addition to that, the main thing is for you to go down to, you can see July 2023 Zoom sessions. That's a full lecture. November 2023, that's a full lecture. March 2024, that's a full lecture. So what it means is that you can study ahead of the class. And that's the reason why we left these videos. So you can come to March 2024. You can see full lecture there. Full, complete lecture. So you can study ahead of the class. Then as you continue, I, don't, I, I wouldn't advise you to do that now. But as you continue, you can see there is text. After the view or read, you can see text here. Because we have a live test on the portal. If I go to financial management, you see there are 48 questions here. Are you getting it? And it's an objective question. Now, although your exam is not an objective question, the exam, the, these questions are structured in such a manner to make you think on your feet. So this is 40, this is, we have 48 questions here. The agency problem is a driving force behind the growing importance attached to sound corporate governance. In this context, the agent are there, da 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 da, then you pick. So I would want you to come to the test part, probably, as I mentioned, in the fifth or sixth week. By then, you have covered a little bit. If there is anything crap, probably in the eighth, seven or eighth weeks, because otherwise you'll be overwhelmed. You see, one thing about uh, learning is that if you try to start solving questions that you have not done yet, it makes you feel you are not advancing. And because these questions are shuffled, they cover the whole syllabus. So you want to come to this probably in the seventh or in the eighth week. By then, you, you have covered a lot in the syllabus. And so it will help you to then go through the test. And it's a live thing. You can see the timer there. Okay. Total time for this is 1 hour 27 minutes. And so, and each question has a timer on it. So this question, for instance, has like a one minute timer and you can see it's counting down. Once the time is up and you're not able to answer the question, it will just automatically take you to the next question. You can see the timer here. This question has four minutes. Why? Because it's a question that requires some level of thinking. Okay, four minutes. So you go to the next one. It's a one minute thing. The timer is going to be running down. So you want to come to this. This is two minutes. It requires some calculation. What is the market price of the company share? That is under business valuation and issues. So you want to come to this in the seventh or eighth week. All right. To help you to really make sure you understand this very well. And again, like I said, 
this is this is to help you to think on your feet, to put pressure on you to think on your feet as fast as possible because the time the timer is going. Once you, if you're not able to work within the time, you lose it. So it brings agency. It helps you to recollect what you have studied as fast as possible and to help you to really understand what you are doing. So if you look at all these, you see the kind of benefits and what is included in our package. So you have your live lectures. You have your extra classes on Saturdays and Sundays coming in from five weeks to the exam or four weeks to the exam. You have the executive leadership master class two weeks to the exam. You have the live question practice on the portal. You're going to be doing assignments. You're going to be doing performance evaluation tests. So if you really embed yourself in this ecosystem, you will be great. You will understand the course material. And if you go to the exam or whatever question the examiner asks you, you should be able to pass it. Hands down. So this is our ecosystem. These are the things you get. Now, then you come to the mobile application. I've mentioned that already. In our mobile application, now you can download the lecture videos and watch it over and over again to help you to understand what is going on generally at the end of the day. So if you do whatever it's here and you really embed yourself in the entire ecosystem, do the assignments. Do the performance evaluation test. Join live lectures. If you miss lectures, download the video, watch the playback. Don't postpone it. Don't think, oh, I'm busy. I have 17 children. Oh, my boss is this. Eh, I have to travel two hours from house to work, two hours from work back home. By the time I get home, it's like I'm tired. How can I do the assignment? Nobody cares. You don't, that is not what you want to hear from me. I know. You want me to be empathetic and say, oh, no kofio, bibio, bibio, femole boko boko, oh, kakra kakra, akoko benumsu, debi, debi. I'm not your nanny to come and sing good night song for you. I hit you with a reality and you have two options. Sacrifice and do what you have to do so you pass this exam. I want to see you pass the July exam, hands down. You can become a chartered accountant in one year. You don't have to take 10 years to do this. You don't need to do this in five years. There are some of you at your workplace, your boss, sometimes you sit down and you're like, ah, we are sepa. Look at this guy, he's my boss. Look at this small little girl. She's my boss. Why? Because probably she's a chartered accountant or he's a chartered accountant. And he or she is seated and you are doing the work. Then you bring it before you. They say, hey, they say you didn't do it well. Go and do it again. Then you are furious. Then your ego comes. Why? Because you don't want to sacrifice. You don't want to give up something. If you want to pass this exam, in the next 12 weeks, you have to make some sacrifices. I always say this, on the altar of success, there must be a sacrifice. Maybe it will be some hours of sleep. Maybe it will be some time with friends. Maybe it will be doing something. You have to sacrifice. Maybe instead of washing Saturdays and Sunday, maybe you have to take your things to the laundry so that you can use that time to study or get somebody to help you with the laundry. So instead of using six hours to be washing at the end of the day, your spinal cord is hurting and you can't think any longer after that. Someone helps you. So instead of six hours, you don't use one hour so you can save the rest of the time to study and relax before you start the next week. You have to make some sacrifices. I can't tell you what you have to do, but you have to give up something. Because if you look at everything that we are putting on for you and the work we are going to put in in the next 12 weeks, from myself and my team here, you have no excuse. Because if I don't give excuses, you don't have any rights to give excuses. So please, in the next 12 weeks, I just want one thing from you. Be a student. Forget about your age. Forget about the car you drive. Forget about your degrees and your PhD. Nobody gives a damn about that. Be a student. You've not done this before. Steady. Follow the instructions. I can guarantee you, 
there is more than 90% chance that if you engulf yourself in this culture and do what you are told to do, you will pass this exam and you will smile at the end. That's all I want. That's all we want from you.